In this video, I'm going to show you how to use the Nate Starter Pack presets inside of Lightroom CC Mobile. So in the new Nate Starter Pack 2.0, you'll see that there's a Lightroom CC Mobile Sync directory. And uh, these are JPEG files, but there's something special about these JPEG files. If we go in and just open them with text edit, uh, you can actually see kind of up here at the top of the file, uh, instead of the regular uh, kind of gobbledygook that you see in an image file, uh, there's actually settings. And this is metadata that's attached to the JPEG file um, that Lightroom CC uses, and it works in Lightroom CC Mobile. So basically, we just have to get these images over into Lightroom CC Mobile, and then we'll be able to do it. So the first method is using Lightroom CC Desktop. If you have Lightroom CC Desktop, just go to Add Photos and uh, find that Nate starter pack, find the Lightroom CC mobile sync files, select all of those and import them. So we'll add those 10 photos and awesome, we've added them. So now just to uh, make it a little bit easier to find, I'm gonna select them and come over and hit this plus and create an album, yep. So we'll call this album the Nate Starter Pack and hit Create and include those 10 photos. So now we've got uh, those 10 photos and magically uh, through the cloud, those photos are now inside of our mobile app on Lightroom CC Mobile. So I can scroll through and see them. I can uh, click on the settings just to make sure that uh, everything has come over, and here's the here are the the RGB tone curves. Uh, looks like everything has come through. I'll just check the color mix, and yep, sure enough, all the settings have uh, synced as well. And so now all we have to do is hit these three dots. Uh, yeah, these three dots up here at the top, and click copy settings. And we pretty much want to copy everything except for white balance and uh, exposure. So just make sure that white balance and exposure are unselected and everything else is selected and hit uh, OK. And now we can go and find a photo that we want to apply that to. So we'll click those three dots at the top once we have the photo. Go to Paste Settings. And just like that, we've used the preset. Now, if you don't have CC Desktop or uh, you just want another way to do this, you can also do this with Dropbox. Um, just make sure that, that these files are in a Dropbox folder and select them, hit the three dots at the top, hit Export, uh, scroll over here to Open In, and as it exports in a second, we'll basically just open it straight up in Lightroom CC. So let's scroll, there we go, copy to Lightroom CC. So it'll jump over into the Lightroom CC app, just like that. And look at that, we've got, uh, we've, we've got the, the preset over in here now. So again, we can check and just make sure everything came over and uh, we can hit the three dots, hit copy settings, hit okay, because it still, uh, remember, has all the same things selected. Uh, find another photo to apply this to hit the three dots at the top right again and hit paste settings and boom, it's that easy. 